Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and if you watched the last video of Civ 6 on the console, you would know that my kitten was on the counter and now he's in timeout. So, um, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, I already said that, and uh, the Project Zomboid demo has hooked me. So, uh, I like going into games blind, honestly, and if, especially, like, I'll look at the rating, right, the number rating, uh, but that's about it, even though number ratings suck like if it's like the next call of duty you know there's like a brand there of deceitful marketing practices right um but if it's an indie game i usually just go by the number rating and a very brief like it's a story based game type stuff uh but if a friend recommends it i'm totally gonna play it so someone from work uh walmart recommended me play this game called project zomboid and i played just the demo okay and in the demo, you only get to play it for your character for like two days before you die. And this game is cool. I'm, I'm really into this game. Like, I'm going to buy this game. It's really cool. Like, it's, it, it's a normal zombie game, right? You have your food, hunger. Uh, they added like stress, happiness. If you're anxious, scared. Uh, and you just kind of go and, you know, you, you survive. And that, that's what you do. And you set up your own goals. And all that and it's really cool because it I like that it's really hard there's some nuances to it but it's really hard and it has a charm to it so when I was playing this game uh, initially I was just playing the tutorial and I was like oh okay uh, it's just a block based game right and then I played the demo where you play as Bonnie Campbell and I was just kind of like oh, okay I didn't understand it and I ended up dying because I wanted to break into a house and an alarm went off and I died. And by then I had understood the controls a little bit, so I tried again. And after understanding the controls, this game was really fun. I felt like um, it, it didn't really have any unfair elements to it. I found that uh, like it has this thing, and I hate it when zombie games do this. A lot of different zombie games do this. And it, it, on the inside, once you figure it out, the zombie game becomes terrible. And they spawn zombies around you, right? So, let's say that uh, Seven Days to Die is, an, is a great example of this. In Seven Days to Die, let's say you have your area around you, right? 100 meters. And zombies won't spawn in the 100 meter radius. They will spawn in the 101 meter radius and go in. So like, you'll be walking around, right? Have cleared an area out and all of a sudden the game spawns dogs on you, right? Like there's a point in the game where the difficulty just spikes up and you always carry around like a special weapon, like whatever you can kill dogs with the best. If you're good with a knife or the revolver, you always carry it around you because you know the game's gonna spawn dogs on you. And the dogs are the enemies you can't run away from very easily. Whereas in Project Zomboid, it seems to me, because it's really easy to figure this out if the game does this, it seems to me as though the zombies, it, it, obviously it visually doesn't show them, but it seems like it doesn't spawn zombies that way. It seems like uh, if there's a horde of zombies, it just is the horde of zombies, wherever it goes, it goes. And I think that that unpredictability, because that's what makes zombie games fun for me personally, is I really like unpredictability and adapting to new situations. If there's a system of spawning zombies that isn't random and the player figures it out, I think it destroys the zombie game for me. Call of Duty Zombies is a little bit different. It's built around the arcade feel. It's not really a practical zombies game, so if the game is built around that, then it's fine. But Project Zomboid, it doesn't feel like it yet. I'm pretty sure I'm going to figure out some sort of spawn pattern for that game eventually. But uh, it just is really cool. I like the aspect of the different elements. Sorry, my kitten just bit me. You're a little jerk, aren't you, huh? Yeah. Oh, God, she fell. And my leg's probably bleeding now. She just clawed it. Um... But it's nice that there's all these different systems in play, and it's very random. I like the randomness of it. 
and it still feels like there's a little bit of an element of control, right? Because it's like, for instance, you, I found a supermarket, and I'm like, go in or not? I went in, figured out there was zombies in there, killed the zombies without attracting the zombies outside, and then I looted the supermarket, you know? So I'm excited to see where this game takes me. I'm excited to play this game. I'm going to play this game. I'm going to buy this game and play this game. Uh, along with the new Call of Duty, which is coming out. I heard there's not going to be any loot boxes. There's just going to be a battle pass for cosmetics only. And for me, if a game monetizes itself to all oblivion, high hell, whatever you want to say, and it's just cosmetics only, I really don't mind. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for Project Zomboid. And that's all I got to say for you guys. Um, I tried out the demo. The demo's free on Steam. If you want to try this game out, go for it. I'll probably have, I'm going to try to shoot some gameplay for it, because it's really, it's really cool, very nuanced, and I'm excited to see where it goes, because it's an alpha stage, and it seems like one of those games that is really not going to be an alpha forever, a lot of games do. Yeah, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, I suck just as bad as you do at video games, uh, subscribe for more Project Zomboid videos, is there going to be one, is there going to be a hundred, I have no idea, <laughs> but I'll see you guys in the next one.